Hi guys. I'm so sorry I'm late. Who's all on here? Are you guys still here? Everyone's like, no, we're gone. <laughs> hey, what's up? This is Anna Absolute and welcome to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing and also clicking that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. Today, we're going to be doing a haul. I have 11 different fragrances. Most of them I got off um, Fragrance X. They're majority blind buys as well. So uh, let's get into it. Thank you, Jeanette. Oh, no. I Guys, I had to like, I had to go extra on the makeup because I'm like breaking out everywhere. And that's actually why I haven't been um, recording lately. Just because like my face has been really bad and I don't know why. But thanks, guys. So I got a lot of stuff. Like... So I didn't, I didn't buy for like, I think I did good. I did like two whole months without like really, really buying a lot of fragrance. So I kind of went crazy and I actually will have another um, whoop, more formal haul from Fragrance X coming up soon. Um, but today we're going to um, do what I got from Fragrance X. Um, X and uh, a couple of other places. I listed them all down below. So if you guys want to look in the description, all whatever we're going to be opening, be opening today, I'm going to kind of pop in into the chat and off. I haven't been posting lately, so I don't have a very um, formal video up. So I'm going to try to keep this like, even if you weren't in the live chat, you um, are watching just a regular video. So um, thanks everybody for showing up. <laughs> okay, so I'll just, um, we'll kind of go, I'll just name them off by what we have, and then we'll go for a vote on which which ones to try out first. Um, so I got Coach Dreams. This is actually not a blind buy. That light behind me is too bright. Yeah. Okay, Coach Dreams. That's not a blind buy. I got the tester version of it. Um, Signorina Mysteriosa by Salvatore Ferragamo and Organza in on the sense. <laughs> I don't know. I looked it up. I asked um I asked Google how to pronounce it and it was something I can not pronounce in the sense something like that. Um why is that libre? Um, guys, I haven't tried most of these. There are blind buys. I did open them up to make it a little easier for the video. Um, the only one, Intense, yes, by um, Dolce & Gabbana. Guys, this was $35, the tester was, on Fragrance X. So just in case you guys are trying to get it, Go get it right now. What's up, Nav? It's nice to see you, boo. Um, this is a Manifesto by YSL. Um, we have Siren by Paris Hilton. I got this because of a, um, a subscriber. If that was you, what's up? Oh, yes. Scandal by Night. I got that. And then a little cheapy Vera Wang Embrace. It's a vanilla fragrance. And La Ombre. <laughs> Definitely said that wrong. Um, De Merve by Hermes. And Velvet Vanilla by Mancera. I'm really excited for this one because the reviews on Fragrantica were wild. And all my um, all my other fragrance friends, their, um, their opinions on this were wild too. So I'm just really like interested to know what the hell it smells like or to me. Thank you, Cassandra. I forgot to get paper. I'll be right back, guys. You're like, Anna, you're so unprofessional. <sighs> I wish my computer would just like read me everybody's comments. <laughs> Not that I mean I can read your guys' comments, but... 
What's up, everybody? It's nice to see you guys. Hi, Sue. Sue, I feel like I haven't heard from you in a long time. What's up, Tara? Guys, Tara has a new channel. If you like watching the smaller fragrance um, YouTubers, she's definitely knowledgeable and she has like a bomb collection. I actually learn a lot from her. So y'all should go follow her, Tara Michelle, AKA Opinionated Sense. Um, quote on the opinionated part. <laughs> quotes around that okay guys so what should we um smell what should we try first this, so i bought these 10 fragrances and then i have eight other fragrances from fragrance net that i'm gonna open for you guys i think maybe next week <sighs> thank you m Okay, we'll try um, Dolce & Gabbana, the only one in tents. That was the first person, so we're going to go with that one. Let me create my little test strips. And if I really like them off the test strips, we will try on skin. I tried to wear short sleeves. I was going to wear a turtleneck. Well, I actually kind of am. I was going to wear like a long sleeve turtleneck, but I was like, no, we're going to be spraying skin. We need that to show. <sighs> Man, I'm so mad I didn't even get to post on on Instagram that I was going live. Hold on. I'm going to do it right now. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Thank you for um, being patient. How do I just I just want to go live. I hate that freaking Instagram changed their shiz. I want to do a story. Hey guys, I'm going live or actually I'm live right now. I'm actually recording myself. Say what's up everybody. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm live on my YouTube channel. The description or the, uh, the link is in my bio, in my description, something like that. Bye. See you there. Okay, was that dumb? <laughs> Anyways, I just, yeah, people need to come say what's up. Thanks, guys. Okay, we're already trying. Hi, to, hi Takara. I was about to say, every time I read your name, I want to say Takara, but I know it's Takara. What's up? Thank you. Okay, I'll see you later. I need to catch up on everybody's videos. I always say that every year, every, every, um, every, every live and everyone's like, Anna, sure. You're going to catch up. Sure. All my friends, everyone be saying that. Hi, Christine. Oh, and actually I got some of these fragrances from Christine too. She's right there in um, the chat. Uh, and I listed her Mercari info down below. She's like decluttering a lot of her collection. She has a bomb collection too. So go check her out on Mercari. Okay, so we're gonna do the only one. <laughs> Gross, sorry. The only one, Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. I can smell it through the cap. Mm, it smells familiar. The atomizer was pretty nice. The bottle is nice, guys. This is $35 for the tester on Fragrance X. Yes, right now. So if you've been wanting to try this, it would be the time because the regular bottle is like 100 It's nice. It's really nice. Actually, it reminds me of... So I've already smelled Libre, in Libre Intense, so I'm going to spray that. Cause I want to compare it. I feel like something in it is very is like reminding me of it, guys. I can't even like smell a different. Okay. Um. 
This smells very similar to this. And I really, really love this. This is sweeter. I think it's the like there's like a like an alien kind of jasmine in these that's like coming off really sharp to me. And I think that's what I'm smelling. But the only one sense is sweeter. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think they smell very similar to me. But they smell really good. Okay, there's my opinion on that. Um, I, re I read that there was coconut in the notes of this. Who smells coconut? I don't smell any coconut. That's not uh, what I was trying to do. I really wanted to smell the coconut. If I could smell the coconut in this, I would think it'd be like a lot better to me. It also like gives off a less intense like feeling of the Versace Noir, the Crystal Noir. Like if, but not strong. Like if it was like just a little, little bit in there. I don't know if that makes sense. That That's my first impression on The Only One Intense by Dolce & Gabbana. <laughs> okay. And since we just sprayed Libre, guys, I've um, worn this already a couple of times. It's long lasting. I really like it. And um, how I can describe what this smells like is if you have, or if you have Alien Essence Absolute, it's very similar to that, but I would say a more like crowd pleasing version of it. It's just more likable, more sweet. It's beautiful. And I mean, this is beautiful too. So they smell similar, but I, I need to get a good wearing of both of them to like really be sure. But I have worn this a couple times and I really love it a lot. But I, I love Alien Essence Absolute and this is really reminds me of that, especially um, on the dry down. The bottle is stunning. Oh, I should show you guys the bottle. Let me um be more profesh. This is YSL Libre Intense. Um, I have tried the, the original version of Libre. I wouldn't say they smell very similar to me at all. Um, I did like Libre, but <laughs> this is dumb. When I was first, you know, starting out perfume, I felt like everybody had it and I didn't want it because everybody had it. So I never bought it. <laughs> but yeah. I, I like this one better. Um, if you guys can't get a hold of Alien Essence Absolute and you want something similar, this is pretty similar to me, just more like crowd pleasing in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Sorry guys, if I'm missing out on your comments, I'll try to break like every three fragrances and say what's up to you guys, but feel free to talk amongst yourselves. It's been a while since I posted a video. So every time I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna post regularly. I don't, I don't, I do good for like a week and then it goes to shiz. Okay, so I was hearing a lot of people asking me to try um, Velvet Vanilla by Mansara. Um, this is the bottle. It's like a gradient or ombre orange to red, pink-ish gold bottle. This is the box. And then all Mancera's come in their own little pouch. I'm really excited for this one. <coughs> Nunu, shut it. Whose dog is that? Oh my gosh, no, shut up. Okay, so here's Velvet Vanilla. We're gonna spray it on the tag. I'm expecting bubble gum based on um, what all my friends were saying about it. Hmm. Okay, it smells like bubble gum. <laughs> like a tube rose sweet bubble gum. I'm not really getting like a rich, warm vanilla. Mostly like a sweetness. Okay, let's let that dry down. It's not as strong as I was thinking it was going to be. Hmm. Okay. 
Thank you, Erica. <sighs> Holly, what did you think of Velvet Vanilla? If everyone who's tried it, I want to hear you guys' thoughts in the live chat. And if you are catching this on the playback, be sure you guys read the live chat. Um, a lot of everyone in here are fragrance addicts just like you. So you can get like a whole difference of opinion. It's not as synthetic as I was as I was expecting from the reviews. Yeah, it just smells like sweet bubblegum. Actually, okay. Now that it's getting like a little bit drier, this is how I can describe it. Like, like bazooka or hubba bubba or the long pink tape. There we go. The long pink tape gum. You know how like after five minutes it gets dry, like you're just chewing it and all the juice is out and it's just like still hard, but you're still chewing it. That's what that smells like. <laughs> like if you were to smell that, like, like all the flavor sucked out of the gum, that's what this smells like. Yeah. But I still like it. I still like it. Mm. Okay. I, I've always loved really sweet fragrances, but I feel like um, when I started doing my channel, I really wanted to get into, you know, niche and I wanted to try like different things and like make my, have my nose be more complex. But lately I've been like just gravitating towards sweet fragrances, like Hella sweet, like a juvenile sweet. Like that's all I want all over me. And I don't care. And I like this, this is good. <laughs> I when, when my son asked for that gum, I'm like, wow, I'm old. My, own, my son, like when you go, oh, I remember those days of eat, like chewing on that stuff. That's when you know you're getting old. Anyways, so what should we try next, guys? Definitely similar to Alien Essence Absolute. I'm reading Jen Loves Nail Polish. I keep trying to figure it out the first time I wore it, and I was like, yep, yes, Jen, I agree. I agree. <laughs> okay, well, um, no one is saying that what they want me to, to open next, so we're just going to choose. Okay, so we'll, um, okay, guys, Zara will not ship perfume to Alaska. Don't ask me why, but they won't. And it makes me very upset because I like filled up a whole cart, um, one day and they wouldn't, um, they wouldn't do it. Okay. The um, crowd has spoken. We're going to try Scandal by Night by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I am expecting. I'm going to start saying what I'm expecting before I smell it. So you guys can just know where my mind is at. Even though, even though I barely know where my mind is at. And I'm going to go pick up those legs off your back. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks. Okay, guys, so, um, Jean, my brother is calling. What? I am on the internet right now, and I'm live, so if you could please just hold for, like, you know, I have, like, what, a you know, maybe 40 more minutes left on the live. Okay, cool. But if you could, um, you know, also not use a lot so I can use it. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye. Say hello. Okay, bye. Bye. Guys, um, I'm using up my brother's Wi-Fi. <laughs> so he called. I was like, oh, why isn't anything working? Um, sorry, we want to talk about perfume. Anyways, guys, Scandal by Night by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Here's the bottle. I don't know why I got a large bottle. 
now that I'm thinking about it. And I also, um, yeah, I am expecting this to smell like the original, but with cherry, I think is what I saw on Fragrantica. Ooh, the sprayer is nice. Oh, and I like the bottle a lot. I like this coloring better than the original. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, okay. This is good. This is good. Dare I say better than the original. Well, I smell, well, I smell the original in it. It's just a little bit brighter and sweeter. This is just going off the first spray. It might dry down differently, obviously. And if I hate it, I'll definitely follow up. Um, mm, mm, thanks, Adeline. And JR for you guys, Wi-Fi, I appreciate you guys. Mm. I like it, guys. Oh. I like it a lot. I actually might declutter the original. Because it smells in like very like similar enough to, but I'd rather wear this one. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, and Mighty Strong is reminding everybody to thumbs up the video. That would be great and help me out a lot. And I appreciate it. Oh, I love this. Okay, guys, who else has smelled Scandal by Night? I got this because of Michelle Davis. She, I follow her on Instagram, and she's also, like, a bomb subscriber. And she's... Um, she like knows that she knows what's is happening in everybody's video. So I love talking to her, but she is the one who told me, and I think a couple of other people in my, um, my quest on my community tab, when I asked everybody what their sexiest fragrances were freak. Mm. Oh, it's good. So I don't, I never, I under, I don't understand their bottles, but you know, I I think it's cool to be different. So we'll give you know give them props on originality. Thank you, River. Oh. I still need to try LaBelle, everybody. I'm so late. I actually tried to buy it on this haul, but they were sold out on Fragrance X and Fragrance Net. And those are usually like my sites that I love to go to. So if it's not on there, I usually don't go on there. Ooh, I want to wear this now. Okay, I'm going to try this on my skin. I don't know if it's the cherry, but there's a bright note in here that I love. Oh, shoot. Try to spray my wrist and I sprayed my hand. Now, if I smell fragrances, I'm probably just going to smell this. Mm. It is reminding me of another fragrance, though. Scandal by Night. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a note. But it's reminding me of something else. Mm. We'll come back to it. So, um, next. <laughs> oh, so I already sprayed this one. I've already smelled this one and I've actually had a couple of wearings of it. And this is Manifesto by YSL. And that's the box. Um, I bought this from a, another fragrance addict on Macari and I listed her down below. If you guys wanted to check her um, her page out, Holly, hey Holly, look, she just has she just um, uploaded her perfume collection video. If you guys wanted to see it, she's right there inside the live chat. Um, but I, we and her were talking about this, and she said that this was better than Dolce and Gabbana something, <laughs> one of the Dolce and Gabbanas, and um, 
she said it was similar, but then she said this one was better, so that's why I bought this one. Because I was looking into both of them. So, um, I've, I've already smelled this. I've already had a few, a poor femme. Yeah, Dolce & Gabbana poor femme is what she was comparing this to. And she said this was better. I've worn this for two days and I really like it. The only thing is, and actually, I don't know if Holly told me this or someone else told me this, and I actually smelt it right away too, was that um, this smells very similar to Britney Spears' Fantasy. The pink one, the pink round one, is that Fantasy? Mm. 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 I love it. Um, on me, it projects for the first two hours and it has a very nice powdery sillage. But after that, it's it doesn't last long. I would like think this is like this is, more, this is for more intimate settings, like if you were on a date, you know, and like your and whoever you were with were always gonna be really close to you, so you didn't like choke everybody out. I think this is like a good for, like good for intimate settings, such as what I just said. But um, yeah, longevity wasn't the greatest, but I really like it. <laughs> Holly said she wore this when she was 18. And I actually wore Britney Spears Fantasy when I was like 16. And this kind of reminds me of it. And I actually um, have Britney Spears Fantasy in my cart right now to tell you how similar it is to it. Son? Shh. So, yeah. Mm. But it still smells good. I love Britney Spears Fantasy, so I love this one. Ugh. Yeah, it's powdery, it's soft, and it's sweet. And it's like a suite that you can still be a little sophisticated with. And I think it's because it's not as loud, which I like. So that is my opinion on that. Let's um, get into another one. <laughs> Tara, Britney Spears for life. <laughs> I love... I remember loving fantasy, so it's in my cart to purchase again. Cause, um, Tara, do you think Manifesto smells like um, Britney Spears' fantasy too, or is that just me? I actually saw on Fragranska that some people said the same thing, so I don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> For life, okay, guys. So. Um, I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this, and I tried it at Ulta. This is Coach Dreams. I got the tester. It was like 30 something dollars off fr Fragrance X. Um, the way you spray it is you just press the cap like this. Um, I had Adeline try this out yesterday. She doesn't like the sprayer at all. The sprayer doesn't give me too much problems, but... My mom wears um, Midnight Fantasy, and she's older, too. Um, but I don't have a lot of problems, except it kind of like, it kind of looks like, you know, a little um, not, why am I messing up on my words? What's the matter with my brain? Dang. <laughs> just doesn't look um, sturdy. It looks like it's about to break. But anyways, it sprays just fine. Oh, right when I was like. Sticky enough for it freaking squirts. Okay, yeah. So, um, Coach Dreams is beautiful. I think it's like a bright, a bright floral. Like just that's just really happy. Um, let me look it up on what like the main um floral in here is. I think it's gardenia, but it's a more bright gardenia than it is like a creamy, heady gardenia. Hold on, my son. Funa, please don't scream. Thank you, son. My son is an only child and he's like, well, all floral scents. 
This is a good one. There are still some fruits in here, so fruity floral. Mmm, I like it. Mmm, okay. Anyways, I'm glad this one's in my collection. So next. Uh, <laughs> River, you're nice. If someone likes my fragrance, I'll be like, hmm, you can borrow it, but I want the bottle back. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of wanted to save this for last because I have high hopes. So we're going to save this one for last. Oh, no. I have high hopes for Organza. On the song. So, I don't know. On the song. I have high hopes for that one. So that one will go last. Then this one will go second to the last. Oop. Let's do Signorina Mysteriosa. Um, I got this from Christine. I don't know if she's still in the chat, but um, I got her from her off Fragrance Net. Um, Nav, what is my favorite three to four notes in a fragrance? Um, I love Gardenia. <laughs> I love... Um, I love amber, um, and I love, I don't know. I would say I definitely really like gardenia and amber, and I like frangipani, and I like tropical fragrances, really. So, yeah. But I like everything pretty equally, so. Okay, so this is Signorina Mysteriosa. I actually wasn't looking for this fragrance at all, and it wasn't even on my, my radar. I know I've heard a lot of people talk about it in the fragrance community, but um, I just, I guess I just never, like, wanted to try it at all. So, um, but Christine sent it to me. Um, I bought Indecence Organza off of her and she sent me this in the um in the box I just maybe just being nice but I appreciate it and you're the mom she's probably watching this like um I sent that on accident you better pay up nah I don't know but anyways so guys I don't know what this smells like at all I don't no idea but I hear a lot of good things but I hear it doesn't last long it's a little alcoholish like it takes a little bit for the alcohol to dry down, but it's sweet, really sweet. Mm. Patricia says, I like either clean soapy scents or citrus scents. I try not to mess with coconut as it mostly turns suntan lotion on me. Yes, I agree with that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I like this. Sweet. Definitely likable, possibly mass appealing. Mm, I like it. Mm, I'm gonna try this out more. Does anybody know how long this lasts? Like, does it have a good longevity? Mm, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Oh, almond. Almond is one of my, also my favorites. <laughs> I did a video on it, I'm pretty sure. Danit says, Mysteriosa last, so. Mm. Okay, that was good. Jat was good. Um, I got Siren by Paris Hilton off of a recommendation on my, I, I was asking people what were their sexiest fragrances were and it was really cheap. So that's why I grabbed it. And, uh, did anybody else watch Paris Hilton's, um, documentary on herself recently that she posted on her YouTube channel? Cause I did. I mean, I've, I've always kind of liked Paris Hilton, but after watching that, I was just, I liked her even more. I just got to see her personality a little. Holly, it's really good. I thought it was really good. 
And then when I was like praising the video and talking about it, you know, I had some haters. <laughs> My brother was like, we don't care about rich girl problems. I was like, we all have problems, JR. Sheesh. Okay, so Tara, you've tried this one. I haven't tried it at all yet. Um, yes, son. Can you pause your video? Well, you can walk that way. Or are you going to ask me a question? Can I go over to Logan down the wall? Yes, you can. Okay. Bye bye, guys. I'm not sure what's in Siren. Bye, son. I love you. Mommy? Yes, baby. How much subscribers you got? How many subscribers I got? Uh -huh. Like 4,000 something. Oh, dang, you got more than me. Yep. How much do I have? We need to make you a channel. You don't really have one yet. Oh, get me a channel. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so guys, sorry. I'm looking up Siren right now on Fragrantica. Because I'm trying to see what notes are in here. Frangipani. That's why I got this one. Because I really like frangipani. And there is honeysuckle, lotus, peach, vanilla, musk. Um, I'm going to try this on my skin because I'm not really getting anything off the paper. But then again, it could be like a senses overload. So I'm trying to um, sniff in my... Everyone says if you sniff in your skin... It'll reset your palate. I don't know if that's true. I do not know if that's true. Hey, Michelle, I was just talking about you. I got scandal by night because of you. Chris, why are you so late? Um, I like it. I don't think it's like exceptional, like original or anything, but it does smell pretty good. And I don't like that this doesn't seem to be going back. Oh, cause that's not the cap. Duh. Here's the cap. It reminds me of something else. I'll have to look more into this. I do like it, but it reminds me of something else. I actually like this one a lot. Uh, we'll try this one again in the winter, but I saw vanilla on it. So I thought maybe it might be a good summer scent, even though obviously she's a mermaid. Tafuna, what? Hey, remember you said we could go to the store and buy me something? Yeah, we're going to go tomorrow. Okay. We'll go tomorrow. I thought you were going to go next door. I saw the and cookie. Just go. It's okay. They know I'm on here. You can go. Go. <laughs> yes, go, son. Go. You just want to be in the video. Okay, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> stinker. Okay, so the last two I have is L'Ombre de Merveille and Organza on the song. On the song, whatever. Um, I'm really excited for this one because you guys know I already have two Merveys. Get out. I already have two Merveys in my collection. And if I love this one, I might, I mean, I've been telling myself I'm going to get rid of one of them already and I haven't. I smell the original, the original DNA. I smell that in here. Let's just spray the whole arm. I will. I just want it to be a little bit more different than the original. Ooh, no, wait, wait, wait. It's getting sweeter. 
Okay, the sweetness is coming in. Mm. Ooh, ooh, it's good. Mm. I like it better than the originals, the two that I have. Like, I think it's way better for winter. I don't like smell the vanilla, but it does feel warmer and sweeter than the other two do. Mm, Tara is like, is so excited that I'm liking this. Mm, okay, it's good. I like it. Is Rosa, is it expensive? I think like I think I paid 80 for this. Let me check on Fragrance X. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go to Fragrance X and see how much it is. La hambre. Do I have to look it up with the apostrophe? Wow, it's already sold out. Wow, it's sold out already. And I just bought it. Oh, no, it's right here. It was $84. Yeah, this was um, for a tester. It was $84.99. So that is kind of expensive. And you, you have to be into spicier fragrances. Like if you don't like spicy fragrances, I don't think you'll like this. Oh, it's getting better. Okay. Yeah, definitely not a safe blind buy. Mmm. I like it. I like it a lot. And I know the other Mer Merveys last a pretty good amount of time on me, at least eight hours. So I'm guessing if this has... Um, no, that's not true. I'm like, I was going to say, I think since it has vanilla, it's going to last long. I don't know. I'm just saying that. Okay, guys. So, Organza Indecence. Let's move on. Um, I bought this because of... Uh, why am I forgetting your name? Why am I forgetting your name? Like, uh, guys, why hasn't my brain been working lately? Well, I'll think of it and I'll say her name, but um, mm. but I'm excited. Um, she said that this smelled like cinnamon powdered donuts. So that's why I wanted to try this. Yeah, Karina Waldron. That's who, um, thank you, Tara. Tara be coming in with the info. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, Karina Waldron is the one who was talking about this and is the reason why I bought it. I'll link her channel down below after um, we're done with the live. Um, I'm gonna spray it on skin. I'm not getting cinnamon. I'm not getting donuts. I'm getting a powderiness. Let's let this dry down. While this is drying down, let's see what y'all are talking about in the chat. Hmm. I've never tried Grand Soir. Everyone's talking about that. What's up, Nats? <laughs> oh, guys. So me and Adeline made a connection. So Adeline is one of those people that smell pickles and stuff. Hmm. 
She smells pickles in the divine decadence. So I'm assuming she would smell pickles in the original decadence because everyone says they smell pickles in that too. And we kind of made a connection because the other day she was eating, we were eating spearmint gum and she was like, this kind of tastes like pickles. And I was like, I think it's like spearmint. Like there must be like something, a spearmint or a mint kind of um, note or something that may come off to like pickles to people. So I think that's it. I don't know. But if spearmint gum tastes like pickles to you, tell me if um, decadence also smells like pickles to you. I'd like to know. Thanks, Michelle. I appreciate you. No, she just smells pickles and decadence. I'm like the stupidest scientist ever. Okay. I don't know if it's that my nose is just like. Okay. Hmm, I guess I don't. So Adeline smelt this for the first time yesterday and she was just flabbergasted. She was amazed. She was head over heels in love with this fragrance. I am smelling it now. It's okay. It kind of smells like not the big red gum, but the big red gum, like the powder on the big red gum. I like powdery scents, but I was expecting this to be more gourmand powdery. <laughs> See, and I paid a hundred bucks for this. Unless Adeline's gonna pay me, this is gonna go back up for sale. <laughs> mm, yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna give it another chance. We'll see. Like by the end. Oh shoot! By the end of the night. But I'm not getting cinnamon. I'm not getting any donuts. Hmm. But who knows, maybe when I try it by itself without trying it with all of these different fragrances, it'll be different. <laughs> Tara and Seton are um, causing trouble. They are causing trouble in the chat. <laughs> yeah, it's not as gourmand as I was thinking it was gonna be. Hmm. Tara always begin me in the comments. She'd be like, I didn't like that one at all. I'd be like, okay, Tara. <laughs> I, I think it's fire, okay? <laughs> and it's my channel. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, yeah, it's it smells like the powder off a of big red gum. That's what that smells like to me. So I guess we'll just number these. And I actually think I might declutter. Like I'm already thinking I'm going to declutter some. So number one of the night. La Ombre. I really, really love this one. Number two. Is Manifesto. I really, really like Manifesto. I wish it would last a little longer, but I have so many fragrances. I guess I don't mind respraying and carrying it with me. That's number two. Um, this kind of this, this is reminding me of another fragrance. Hmm. Um, number three, Libre Intense. Oh, shoot, there's one more. Okay, Vera Wang, Embrace. This is like rose and vanilla. 
and it was like 20 bucks on fragrance x so i was like why not try it i kind of i want to find like a bomb vanilla that i haven't been hearing about and i haven't heard anything about this but that could be a for good It's I I usually don't like rose, but I actually like it in this. Um it's not unique or anything. It's literally just like rose and vanilla or what I can smell from it. Mm. I like it. I want to try this out more. It needs to dry down a little bit. I'm getting a lot of alcohol from it, but hmm, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Jen, um, do you like spicy fragrances? Because there's a note in the the Merveys, and I'm not sure what it is, but I can look it up. But I'm not going to do it right now. But there's a note in them that's really similar. And unless you like that note, I don't, it's not a very, a very safe blind buy. But if you're an addict and you blind buy anyways, get it. <laughs> River, I will probably agree with you. It's actually pretty nice. Nicer than I was thinking it was going to be. Yes, and you have to like amber. Yeah, so then this one, I'm not going to rate the rest. They were all pretty good. Oh, and this is in my top five from this too, definitely. I really like Coach Dreams. Um, I can't wait to wear it in the spring. Mm, this is still out at Ulta if anybody wants to um, spray that and try it. <sighs> it's... Um, Jen, it's not like a pink pepper kind of spicy. It's like an actual spice spicy. If that makes any kind of freaking sense. Um, Stephanie, this is Scandal by Night. It's really sexy. There's like a, like, there's like a sweeter, lighter note in here that comes out above. It's basically the original with just this extra sweet, sharp note in here. Could be the cherry, possibly not positivo. <sighs> okay, guys. So what's up with everybody? I'm going to do, um, I might add some of these to my declutter. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. I need to try them out more. I have so many in my, in my collection. I think I'm not going to buy any perfume for the rest of the year. And I just need to pump out some videos. <laughs> Jed, I know exactly what you mean. People will be like, be careful, don't get it. I'm like, nah, don't worry. This, this is like, this is like I'm buying water. I just need it. I need to get it. Um, Tara, I do not think it's patchouli. Um, I think it is, hold, hold on. It's like in all of them. Now I got to look it up. Day, mid, vey. Dun, 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 dun. Do you guys like the new Fragranica? Um, like th their look that they change it to? It's, I think, oh, it is, there is patchouli in it, but I don't get the patchouli. I thought it was the labdanum, the labdanum. Yeah, because labdanum, yeah. So what I get strongly from the, um, the Merveys is labdanum. <laughs> it's like resinous, leathery, which also is ambery. So whoever also said you have to like amber, that's another true thing. 
Wow, Michelle. Michelle just has it memorized. You guys are making me look bad over here. <laughs> um, Danit, we just tried that one in here. The intense, the only one intense. It smells similar to um, Lieb intense. Sweeter. S way, way sweeter, actually. Way sweeter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't like they're not they're not as easy to see. I feel like we just all just have to get used to it. I feel ugh, every time something changes like that drives me nuts. Cause I'm just trying to like I do I don't like that it doesn't show. You know how we can vote on which notes are the strongest to us? You can't see it from your phone anymore. You have to like go on the computer. But I mean, I guess I could write them and tell them about it, but I'm not. I actually, so what does, what does everybody think in the chat? I know there's like a big thing about people who like patchouli. So what is like when people say a dirty patchouli, like, like dirt, is that the same as the sweet patchouli that you smell in Angel Muse at the end? Because I just think that smells sweet and good. I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever smelled dirt patchouli. Maybe the dirt patchouli's in this one. <laughs> oh. Oh, that smells so good okay guys it has been almost an hour so i love you guys but i gotta um cook my son dinner and do all kinds of mommy stuff and get ready for work tomorrow yeah i've never smelled the dirt patchouli that everybody is talking about <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm glad i'm not the only one guys i love you guys too and i appreciate you guys for stopping by um you guys are the best i have i don't know if they're in they're watching right now but i have a few people i still need to set i still need to send their winnings from the giveaway I haven't forgot about you. It's literally, I'm looking at them. They're sitting on my desk. I just haven't sent them out yet, but I will. I promise. I'll get to it. <sighs> I haven't smelled carnal flower either. Um, I love you guys. You guys are the bomb. .com. Peace. Manifesto is so good. Bye, guys. I appreciate you guys. See you later.